Welcome back. This is going to be the second uh, video on the drone series that I'm, I'm going through. It's mildly uh, comical that I call it Drones for Dummies, but r really um, it's difficult to figure this situation out. So most of you have already probably done the tasks by now, so you should have cleared those out. Um, if you watched my volume one from yesterday, you'll um, notice that essentially I, I bought a few drones and was under the impression that you get the same number of uh, battery types when you order the drone, but I unfortunately found out as I was experimenting um, that you don't. So the battery is eight out of eight in this Defender, but if you go to this Defender that I got here, it's 10 out of 10, and that was the first one I got. So um, I was a bit duped into it. So what I wanna actually walk everybody through is ooh, what does this all mean? So um, if you go to the store, and you go through and look at the different blueprints, which you are purchasing from the store is the blueprint. The drone is then manufactured randomly and the, manuf the manufacturing process gives you power cells between eight and 12 for the blueprint fly, between eight and 12 for the blueprint defender, or between 16 and 22 for the blueprint discus. I wasn't aware of this yesterday, so in 24 hours I have learned through watching other people's experience and buying my own drones um, what this is. So I lucked out with this Defender because I got an 8 out of 8, which is somewhat okay, but I also got the coveted, and I'm saying this very specifically and I'll reinforce this, the highly coveted Type A microchip slots. The A-type microchips provides your drones with weapons, special effects such as lockdown or freeze and operate that give your, uh, and actually can enhance your, your drone's battery life. So um, in the case of this Defender right here, if I wanted, now this one I kind of, I stacked up in an interesting way, but if I wanted, I have a control resistor here, which is a type A slot and uh, it slows down the accumulation effect on the robot itself. And in this slide right here, when it pulls up, I can actually equip it with another A-type slot that would give me enhanced abilities. This one I have control resistor, but if I actually go to the store this morning, I can enhance it with a battery microchip. And I'll actually just do that to show you guys what that looks like. By giving them extra battery life, look at that, I'm dedicating 100 gold to this video. By giving him extra battery life, you can see he went from it a 10 out of 12, uh, t yeah, a, a, a 10 out of, a 8 out of 10 to now a 8 out of 12. So what that essentially means by giving my drone an extra battery pack is now I can go over to this section right here. And this is the more, the B type is more of an attack um, skill. I can now get a, install one of my four level battery modules and I've got three to choose from because I've already pre-purchased them. Um, I can either do the inciting intensifier, which means as long as the robot is immune to suppression and increases the damage output, which I'd like because I don't get suppressed that often, I'll hit install. Now you can see here, I just beefed up my defender by adding this one simple battery pack in the A type slot. So. Hopefully you've kept up with the, the description so far. I've now built a defender where I have uh, one skill which slows down the accumulation effect on the robot. I've got the battery pack that expands the number of um, modules I can add to it. Then if you go to the module itself, you can see I've got an attack type module inciting intensifier. And I also have another one right here, which as long as last hand is active, it increases my damage output. So I would probably put this on um, one of my last bots um, in the game because I can, you know, essentially use last stand, defend, and, and fight vigorously. If you go now to um, a gold purchased one for 2,400 gold, now again, hold off on purchasing because I think other drones will come out, we'll probably be able to win them. But again, I was, um, you know, helping the community by, by purchasing one early. I looked out here and getting a 20 by 20 battery uh, life on this discus. If you go through and see here, I only had one A-type that ultimately uh, was built into from the blueprint. And that's unfortunate, but it's not bad because some people actually got no blue, uh, no type A slots. This one was um, that I put down here is a lock downer. 
um, a great, great grammar. Um, and the lockdown or enables all robots weapons to apply lockdown, which is pretty self-explanatory. So I added that with a number of other modules. You can see here, I've got two defense modules. Um, I've got two attack, I've got one attack module, and then I've got one D type, which helps repair. So it's a pretty much good overall um, drone to use when I use them on my power bot. I don't know how to move the drones around right now, to be uh, to be perfectly honest. And I did buy the extra two slots in the back. Um, so it's just luck that my Hawk that I'm using here as my kind of like mid game, mid range uh, bot, um, he's in the same spot as the discus uh, right in the middle. So for me, I don't spend more than two seconds to either decline using a drone or not. Right now, the two drones that I use the most is my starter drone. Um, and the starter drone, I use him uh, with my, my beacon capper because it has freeze accumulation. This is, again, the lucky type A uh, socket that, again, I just lucked out. Um, this defender, for example, only has um, an 8 out of 8. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to equip more than just two of those sockets right there. Um, another question that has come up in comments and in uh, uh, private uh, direct messages to me um, were actually around um, how to combine. Combining is a little tricky, but basically what you can do is um, if you have enough of those blue type chips or those gray type chips, you can fill the gray type chips here and they will essentially spit out. And here I'll show you an example. It will, you have to buy one, two, three, four, eight, eleven. 15 of those it'll spit out randomly it will randomly spit out have to add 15 of those in oh it's right in the middle what am i doing adding this stuff up first thing in the morning it'll randomly spit out a essentially a t2 skill so if you do the same thing here now i've been collecting a lot of these blues so i'll just put this one in here for example if i put in 10 of those i will randomly get one t3 if i get five of those, I'll get one random T4. It's going to be extremely expensive to actually go through and do all of this. So I would say potentially hold off because I haven't seen the effects to be that great, but I could be proven wrong and maybe Pixonic realizes that the effects are kind of weak right now so we don't all freak out. Anyhow, hopefully this was helpful um, and you have a good sense of kind of how the drone hangar works, how these chips work. Um, I will be continuing to update this series, Drones for Dummies. Um, good luck on the battlefield, and hopefully the nerfs weren't too bad, and you're continuing to enjoy your robot.